welcome back and good morning YouTubers. Uh, what you see right now is probably hard to make out what it is, but it's actually might be able to tell now, but it's the it's the clean outdoor to my outdoor furnace. And I have to replace the gasket in it. So and I have to do the other door also, so and today I thought it'd be a good day to do it. It's ugly out raining and it's uh, not a good day to be outside so we're out here in the barn and I've got to tear this old gasket out and that's what I'm going to get at doing right now and I hope I got the right size ordered the right size gasket I don't know Now how I do these, this is mostly silicone, but over, I put that over top of the rope gasket and it lasts for years. Uh, I tried just using the gasket itself and just binding it to the back and it just doesn't last. I might get a, I'll get a year out of it and that's it and I have to replace it the following year. I think this might be three years old, maybe four years, I'm not sure. But right here, oh boy, this isn't going to be easy. It's going to fight me all the way. I can get under with this. Yeah, it won't be long I'll be needing this, so I better figured I better get this done before the before I need it. There we go. Now we're getting it. And you, when you know it, the last time I did it, I didn't take note on what size of gasket it took. This time I'm going to write it on the door. That way I know. <laughs> now it might be three, four years till I do it again, and I'm not going to remember. Try to get a bigger one. Yeah. Looks a little better. Now the silicone I use on this, they keep saying you should use high temperature silicone. I just use regular silicone. And that's what this is. This isn't high temperature. And I've had no issues with it. I mean, if I can get three, four years out of it, I'm happy with that. I 
and there it is. And it's still flexible. I mean, you know, it's amazing. But I know it was leaking, and maybe it just, the door just needed cleaned, I don't know. But I'm not taking a chance. It's been, like I said, three or four years since I've done it. Let me see if this is the right stuff. Yep, that's the right gasket. It's five eighths, by the way. That way, in case I forget to write it down, I'll have it on video. And you gotta clean it well. But there's not much to clean. I mean, it's, it all come out with a, with a little bit of stuff. Kind of it comes right out. Without my mind, this is the way to go with that. Everybody has their own way of doing it. And I've seen this, thought I'd give it a try. Best thing I ever did. As far as on the uh, stove doors, the furnace doors. Not the best thing I ever did. But I've had this outdoor furnace for probably, I think it's going on 16 years now. And I've never had a major problem with it. I replaced a, uh, a uh, fan motor. I replaced that. And that stuff can be expected. That stuff. But as far as the stove, it's the furnace itself, I've never done anything to the furnace. Just keep it clean. Okay, I gotta get the... Uh Worst part of this job's already over. Take a wire brush. I know one thing, you sure do get dirty when you start getting into furnaces and fireplaces or whatever, the soot is horrible. Fitting this, and I noticed I'm not stretching the rope. I'm just at the corners. I let it fill in. I don't pull it. Make sure everything's just laid in there nice and loosely, like. Yeah, now. Oh, 
that up in the corner there. Okay. a fit okay so I'm going to take it out and what I'm going to do is well you'll see what I'm going to do so I don't have to explain it I'll just show you but I want to take this out now lay that aside okay now this was the Cheapest, and I mean it is 100% silicone. So, And I'm covering the bottom with the silicone. So when I lay that gasket in there, that it bonds the whole way. sure I push it down in into the silicone good make sure the corners are full not going to be too many more weeks and I'm going to be needing this furnace, I know that. Okay, there it is. Well, you can see that pushed in there pretty nice. My well, real nice, actually, it fit beautiful. So that took a five eighths diameter. Now the other door, the main door for the firebox, that takes a one inch. Anyway, that's it for that. Now I've got to, I've got to cover this whole surface with silicone. So, we're going to, you'll see.
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, All right, now what I do here, I take a credit cards work real great for this, old credit cards. All right, I think that's it for that. Now that has to set for 24 hours before I can use it. I'll show you a close-up of it here in a minute here. Let me clean this card off. Now that's what I call good use of a credit card. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get a little more light on this. But you can see, but what that does is that just keeps everything flexible, keeps that thing spongy, uh, it doesn't dry out. I mean, I had great success with this stuff. All right, that is about it for that door. So we'll get back to the next one and uh, that'll be shortly. So we'll be back in a little bit. And here I have it sitting over by the door here and got a little natural light in, which not much of today. 
but gives you an idea. But that just stays flexible for years. It's amazing. Okay, I'm a little winded yet, but I just brought the the other door in for the firebox and the furnace. And this is quite large. Uh, I'll have to get a measurement. I'll forget what it is anymore. But that's, you know, of course it's insulated. That's the other thing. All right, I just took a measurement of this door. It's 20 this way and 20, no, it's 25 this way and 20 inches this way. And it's five inches thick with this insulated door. So, pretty big door. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but it's coming up pretty easy. heavy door. Okay, there we go. It's out. And just like the other one, it's still flexible, it's pliable, you know, after all those years. It's just amazing. Now you can get a better shot of it there. It's but anyway, it all came out in one piece. That's good. Didn't tear on me or anything. Now all I gotta do is clean it, so I won't bore you with that. I'll get back when I start putting the rope back in. Okay, I got the door outside here. I just cleaned it. Got all the gasket out of it, of course, you've seen that. I don't know if you can see the, that's where the gasket goes down in there, one inch gasket. Yep, anyway, that's all there is to see there, so until I get the gasket in, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back, so... I'm trying to shed a little more light on the subject, but I don't know if it's going to work right. But this is the, so the one inch. Gasket and it's, uh, I got seven feet of it. Comes in seven foot. Plants. Well, you know, I think I'm just going to. Rather than dry fit it, I just, I know it's going to fit, I know it's the right one. So. <clears throat> it's starting to set up on me there. That other door took exact, well, just, not exactly, but it only took one, one tube of silicone. And this is what's left of that, so. And this is empty. Uh, 
All right. Onward and upward. Here we go. Okay, now I start putting a rope in. You got to remember, don't stretch it. Just let it lay in there. Push it down. There. Wow. That is exactly what it takes, seven feet. I mean, I don't even have to cut anything. Took all them down in there. Make sure it's all pushed down as far as it'll go. Okay, now let me get up. Another tube ready here. Okay. Here we go. Wow. I'll wait till I come around to the front. I have to turn the camera on. I don't know what I did with that credit card. piece of aluminum sheet metal. I'm using that dang putty knife.
Okay. Just doing final clean up here. That took a total of two tubes. Two tubes of caulking. Okay, I believe that's just about it. The waiting game now, we put the seat dry. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. So I found out the more you mess with stuff, the worse it gets. Try to make something perfect. Alright. Like I said, now it's just a waiting game. It doesn't have to be perfect too. But that should do it. And there's what we got. I get the idea, I go the whole way around, but that's it. And twenty four hours I'll be able to hang it out and use it. And uh that's gonna conclude this video. And I don't, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'd appreciate everybody giving a, a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd appreciate it. It really helps me. Uh, help me keep some of these videos going. I don't know how long I can keep doing this, but... Uh, it sure is fun. So that's it for now, people. So we'll see you on the next video.